we're back to Home Depot. We're going to get some flowers for the hummingbirds and for Gary's garden. And hopefully he keeps his eyes on the road. So look at the back seat of our car. All kinds of plants for hummingbirds. I'm so excited. Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and I am on my deck to let you know that I went back to Home Depot because I wanted to go get hummingbird flowers, flowers that the hummingbirds are going to go to. We picked out a few. You may be able to see them way in the back, back there not going to go through all of them but today there was one that caught my eye and I wanted to go back and get it I knew nothing about it I didn't even know the name of it but I had saw it yesterday and thought I'm going back to get that well this is a cupia now I know that there's a lot of different ways to pronounce the word you know I'm gonna call it cupia because that's what it seems like most people pronounce it now there is a lot of different variations of this by different companies I got the one that's from Sunset. Sunset Plant Collection, it was at, you know, Home Depot, and it was a good price. It was only $9.98, and I consider that a good price for a plant that's about in a gallon container. What I absolutely loved about it was the shape of the flowers. I'll get to the name in a minute. The flowers had that bell shape where you could see that the hummingbirds would really love to feed in it. Well, guess what the name of this one is? They call it Hummingbird Lunch. And let me tell you something, this is no joke. The moment I brought them home, I decided to go with two of them and I am gonna do some cuttings so I can put them all over the gardens. Right now, these are gonna stay on the deck. This has been covered with hummingbirds. They keep coming to it. They've got their feeders here, but they come and feed and they go on to the flowers. Now, I am an advocate on putting out feeders for the hummingbirds because I feel here in Southern California with the drought, they're never going to get enough to eat. Not with the amount that are here. And I think we can really help them. But of course, adding flowers to the garden is so important. And I'm going to be adding a whole lot more flowers than we have. We have a lot of citrus trees that have flowers all year. And the citrus trees are really very, very big as far as nectar for the hummingbirds. Some flowers have pollen, some flowers have nectar, some flowers don't have much of anything, but there might be a little insect in there or something for them to feed on. But the point is, I'm crazy about these. The flower shape is beautiful. The price of $10 for one plant, and you can do cuttings off of it, is fabulous. And I can't say anything bad about it. I'm absolutely crazy about them. Look at them. So I'm going to put set them up in the new fashion in which I'm going to be setting up a lot of plants around my garden, be it in the garden, on the deck, and even in the house. And let me tell you something about these. These are good for zone nine, 10, and 11, and we are in 10A. They don't like the freeze when it gets really cold. So what they do is they sell them as annuals, but they are perennials. Now I have found and done research that you can take them in the house. If you're in an area, let's say eight and under where it gets really, really cold, set them up. I'll show you in a few days exactly how I'm setting up mine now. Set them up where you can bring them in for a few months during the winter and then put them back outside for all the birds and the bees and the butterflies to enjoy. In the house, you wanna make sure you don't overwater it. They don't like their feet that wet. So you just water it as needed, keep them a little dry. And if you can, keep them warm above 60 degrees and you should be good to go. So I wanted to share this plant with you because I am so excited. The, the amount of hummingbirds that were coming to it as soon as I put it out was unreal. It was like, what did she bring us? What did she bring us? And they came and checked it out and they were all over it and well, that gets me excited when I see them that excited. So if you've got a Home Depot, check it out. But like I said, there's other varieties from other companies. So they call them cigar flowers. They call them different names. You'll see that little tiny red flower. Some of them have a little bit of yellow to it. And you'll see the shape. Do a little research on what you can find for your area. And then you can just set them up 
on your deck, on your patio, in your garden, wherever you want. I wouldn't leave them permanently for a house plant because this is an outdoor plant. But from what I understand, bring them in. I'm gonna bring mine in if we end up with a harsh winter and it gets really cold. The way I set them up now, I'm gonna probably take them out of those pots and put them in something bigger. But I'm gonna set them up where I can just bring it in the house, enjoy them in the house until it's time to put them back up. I think that was a hummingbird over my shoulder feeding on them. They just keep coming and coming. So I wanted to share that with you. Check out your Home Depot, check out your Lowell's, check out your nursery, see if they have anything like that. Kufia, see if they've got one. You'll see the spelling and I'll put the name across so you'll get the exact spelling of them. And then you can find them too. And you can have your hummingbirds feeding on your deck or in your garden or wherever you wanna feed the hummingbirds with some flowers. And you can enjoy them, they're so pretty. In fact, if your weather's warm, they say they can flower all year long. They'll drop their flowers when it gets really cold, but after that, you'll have them all through spring, summer and fall and into winter until it gets really cold. And that, to me, is a game changer when it comes to setting up flowers that I can just put out water and don't have to deadhead because as soon as the flower is done it just drops off so there's really no maintenance with it just a little loving care and then your hummingbirds can come and enjoy it so i hope i've given you an idea on a fabulous fabulous hummingbird flower this one's called hummingbird lunch something they can get a little nectar out of probably a little pollen too and they will be so happy and so will you i think it looks beautiful with that have a wonderful wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. And if you're feeding hummingbirds, don't forget a quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar and one cup of water. Mix that up and put the feeders out. Put a little bit if you only have a couple hummingbirds and then keep the rest in the fridge for up to a week. And if you don't have hummingbirds and they already left, don't worry, they'll be back in spring. After the holidays, before you know it, they'll be back and we'll all be planting again. Have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. And please like and subscribe. Bye-bye. What a gorgeous plant.